A tense situation tonight in northern Iraq. The U.S.-led coalition fighting ISIS terrorists is calling the exchange of gunfire between Iraqi federal troops and Kurdish forces a misunderstanding. Adding to the complexity, though, those Iraqi troops are alongside Shiite militias that have been loyal to Iran. The Kurds are now withdrawing from the strategic city of Kirkuk and its vitally important oil fields. Correspondent Connor Powell has the latest from our Middle East newsroom tonight. Pro-Iraqi fighters poured into Kirkuk this weekend, not to battle insurgents, but instead to reclaim the oil-rich city from Baghdad's one-time ally in the fight against ISIS, the Kurds. With Iraqi troops seizing control of a Kurdish military base and a major oil facility. The joint military operation was launched at dawn and has progressed significantly. With heavy fighting breaking out between the two American allies, the fragile U.S.-led coalition against ISIS is on the verge of imploding. Still, the Pentagon and the U.S.-led coalition try to downplay today's violence, calling it, quote, a misunderstanding and an isolated incident. While President Trump expressed his unhappiness with the fighting. We don't like the fact that they're clashing. We're not taking sides. However, the growing conflict has the potential to ignite a new round of sectarian violence in Iraq, pitting Iranian-backed Shiites against the Kurds. <laughs> this Kurdish man yelled, if any Arabs come into Kirkuk, we will turn them back. The Kurds have controlled Kirkuk for three years after U.S.-backed Peshmerga fighters pushed ISIS militants out. But tensions have been growing ever since Iraq's Kurdish population overwhelmingly voted for independence from Iraq's Shia-dominated government last month. Iraqi leaders not only fear Kurdish independence, but also that the Kurds will try to take Kirkuk with them. It is a fear Kurds have stoked. We will fight to the death and will prevent the filthy Shiites from entering Kirkuk. The recent independence vote was not only opposed by Baghdad, but also the U.S. and Turkey, who fears its own Kurdish population will seek independence. The Pentagon is trying to defuse the situation, calling for dialogue, but the underlying issue of Kurdish independence isn't going away and will continue to threaten Iraqi unity. Brett? Connor Powell, live in our Middle East newsroom. Connor, thanks.